From the 19th of April, we'll be holding a dual exhibition of art of the Middle East and Turkey, which will comprise two auctions, the Orientalist Sale on the 23rd and Arts of the Islamic World on the 24th. Whilst there is a common thought that actually there is no figurative art in Islamic art, this is in fact partly true. By the 16th and 17th century, we do see a number of examples of portraiture. We have a very rare maraca, which is a Persian album of miniatures and calligraphy. Often albums such as this would have been dismembered. That's why it's so rare to have a complete album, which has a very personal feel about it. There is a portrait of a lady holding a bottle signed by Akka Reza, who was the artist Reza Abbasi, who was one of the most famous artists of the early 17th century. And you can see the perfect lines and the, the lack of lines, almost like you know, Matisse drawing. Equally in the cell we have some very important and very rare Deccani paintings from the Deccan Plateau in India. We have an oil portrait, probably a life-size oil portrait, of Crown Prince Abbas Mirza, who was the son of the Persian ruler Fat Ali Shah. And the portrait dates from around 1804. We can date it fairly accurately because we know of another painting sold at Sotheby's many years ago of a slightly taller Abbas Mirza with a wispy beard. And so in our one, he's clearly younger, probably just a young teenager, maybe of 13 years old. On his waist is a jeweled sword. And it's quite interesting to point out the sword. One of the most precious swords in the cell is a diamond encrusted gold hilted presentation sword gifted to the eighth Nizam of Hyderabad who at one point was the world's richest man, in fact. Also from the early period of Islam is an incredibly rare early Ghaznavid dagger from around the 11th, 12th century. There's only one other known in the world similar. 